Hi. 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 I'm good, how are you? I want to go upstairs, check out what's happening in the interior and turn his eyebrows. So yeah, what you got? Yeah. Black Nation TV. Black Nation TV. I'm gonna just look around on the exterior and like see what's going on. And then we'll probably meet again. Yeah, we'll see. Obsession, the show that brings you interior design, architecture, and fashion all in one. So today we are in Johannesburg, the city of gold, the most iconic street, formerly known as Jubilee Street, but now it's called Diagonal Street. Yes, this is Diagonal. Behind me, right here, is the Diamond Building, known as a 50 carat diamond building. So it would be shining like a diamond right now if you were wearing it, but you ain't wearing it. Right now, we're gonna go to the 19th floor. Check out my co presenter, Shelly, as she brings you the interior of this building. So, yeah, let's go check her out. It's about now. We are the movement. Catch our weekly show. Fashion meets interior architecture with Prime Obsession. Fastness brings you urban expression of the youth culture. Conversations driven by the love of music with your girl Q. Then get front row seats and zoom into our adventures on Thursday. Last, don't miss our weekly updates. We are Black Nation. Pop political. So right now we are on the 19th floor of 11 Diagonal. Uh, so now you can see like the north view of the city skyline as we stand here. From here you can see the Talcom Tower, you can see Ponzi Building to your east towards Hillbrow, the Mandela Bridge right there, uh, right here, just here, it's Newtown Junction. Uh, the old JSE Building just opposite here. Okay, so this building is a very modernist building. It makes use of very modern uh, materials. You have your glass, your steel, like these vertical structures that also speak to the outside of the building. This element right here speaks about what modernism is and what it, it encapsulates what modernism is about. So this is Johannesburg. Yep. Okay guys, so we are back still here at Diamond Building on the other other side of the building. Yes, <laughs> where you see the angles of this building as a whole. Okay, so the building was completed in 1984 and it is now owned by Absa Bank and it houses like commercial offices in this building. Yeah, so basically this building is a monumental building in Johannesburg because it's different. It brings a whole new kind of feel in the surrounding. It was done by the architect Helmut Jan. Yes, he's German. <laughs> yeah, and like these glass sheets are actually like they're placed at very at varying angles to like get like they reflect the different views of the CBD. Because the building like quite like it stands out from its surroundings. So this building is like 80 meters high. It consists of 20 floors above ground and two floors below ground. Yeah, so this building is actually a concrete structure, reinforced concrete, but then with a glass glazing, which is known as a curtain wall from the facade. So yeah, that is the building, diamond building. Diamond. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go head back to studio now to give you an art. So we're back in studio from the Diamond Building from the city of Johannesburg, right here. So we're back in studio giving you an outfit inspired by this building. Yes. So right now we're going to pick out an outfit inspired by the building, see what works, see what doesn't. Let's check it out. So this top basically is like going to be layered with this top because, because the lines that we saw on the interior of the building with that whole uh, massage. Mm -hmm. So you basically gonna see this top from underneath this. So it gives you that whole vertical 
line. Yeah, and like layer effects. Basically. So yeah, and we're gonna go with these jeans over here as a bottom because this building does reflect like the surrounding area of Johannesburg yeah, as a whole. It quite it stands out from its surroundings and it's quite like in a raggedy type of area. Yeah. So yeah. This, this is why we chose the distressed jeans. Yes. And then for the shoes, Shelley. Strap shoes. Strap heels. Why strap heels? Because of those linear forms that we saw. Even on the outside of the building relating to the interior of the building. These are the shoes you will be using. Yeah, so that's basically the outfit for today. So we're gonna go start it right now. See you in just a bit. So yeah guys, as I said, we're gonna see you in a bit. This is the outfit of the day. So basically, this top again, the lines of the building from the interior to the exterior, so everything marries and becomes one. So we layer it with the sheer top underneath to give you that effect of the glass you can see through and view the city from outside so this is what it is and then we went with the G again to give you that whole rough effect of the city because this building is a glass facade building and then it reflects like the city at large like your roughness and the edginess finishing it off with the strap heels also balancing out the top with the linear lines and everything so this is the outfit of the day inspired by diamond building known as 11 diagonal building right here in johannesburg this is south africa this is black nation tv this is prime obsession <laughs> today thank you so much for joining us for another show another episode <laughs> rather our crown obsession tune in again next week monday enjoy your night man thank you for coming